Hey guys, Fire here from In Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Summertime Madness. This game is developed by DP Games, published by Sometimes You, and releases on January 26, 2022, for a price of $14.99. If you are watching this video prior to the game's release, it is available for pre-order, so you can save a couple dollars and pick the game up for $11.99. It's also available on both as an Xbox basic game version, and an Xbox Series X and S stack, so two different versions of the game that you can play, pick up, and go through. Uh, this game is an extremely easy completion, it'll take you about two hours. Um, we'll link one of our friends' guides down below in the comments. But yeah, I just want to boot up kind of a new run through of the game, let you kind of see a little bit of what the game's about, and kind of talk about it and give you my opinions. So, Summertime Madness is pretty much just a adventure puzzle walking game. You're going to be running through the game um, while you're playing and trying to just figure out the different ways to access different areas, whether it's figuring out the pathways and puzzles to navigate different sections, all while drawing through the lives of what the main character has kind of created, um, kind of like a, a lonely middle of the road kind of painter guy who was by himself, didn't really have anything in the world, and then all of a sudden it's like he's thrust into the paintings he's created to solve puzzles that you know he's got to figure out how to connect the pieces and get from one end of the level to the other now the whole game kind of takes place in one giant world that as you start to complete the pieces of the puzzles it unlocks different areas in the world to then explore and what i like about like the puzzles especially the initial puzzle that you'll see here after all the dialogues done talking i'll kind of try to tune it down a little bit um is you actually will start to unlock the puzzle and expand the level on the sh the ship, the, the first puzzle is kind of a boat that you play, um, that as you figure out what different things do, it opens up more of the ship and kind of expands things. One thing I really do enjoy about the game is, like I said, it's classic adventure game, but I kind of think it's more of like in a puzzle escape room kind of game, where it doesn't throw things at you as a player that are overly difficult right off the bat. It does a really good job of slowly bringing in an entry-level player into this style of game. Now, there's three different difficulties you can choose. There's Explorer, where there's no time limit. Uh, Classic, where there's a six-hour. And Advanced, where there's three-hour. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what you pick. There's achievements for beating the game in less than an hour. Um, it's going to take you more than an hour. It'll take you about an hour to two hours to beat the game. But those achievements are kind of regulated to hints and stuff that are factored so regardless of really what you do as a player you're gonna probably get those achievements and if you do find yourself stuck on any levels like i said down in the comments we're gonna link a video to a creator friend of ours who's already got a full guide up walking you through the game now stuff that i do enjoy about the game is you know visually it's beautiful like this game is very well created very vibrant colors and i really enjoy the aesthetics of this game more than i thought i would um, what's nice is, you know, there's nothing that's overly difficult or complex as far as how you play and function in this game. The controls are very simple and fluid, and, you know, it's kind of nice to, you know, play a game that's not overly demanding on, like, a skill level from a basic gamer, and is done very well in a visual standpoint. You know, nothing is too, you know, beyond the capabilities of what you would think a game like this would be you know it's it's basic controls done in a very simplistic way that allow you to really enjoy the game now you'll be able to use and interact with like these clocks that'll kind of allow you to get hints you don't need to use any of these hints if you honestly find yourself stuck like i said use the guide below in the comments we've got um because otherwise that hint's going to kind of deter you from getting achievements and stuff going um, and we all know that, you know, it kind of sucked to have to redo hours of gameplay just for an achievement you missed here and there. Now, this is the first puzzle that you get introduced in the game. You're kind of on a ship here. And like I said, the controls are extremely basic. You just have to figure out the sequence to activate things from opening different doors. They're going to give you different sequences. As you can see here, we're going to open this first door. Um, and what's going to be cool is you'll start to see the ship kind of build out as we unlock different areas into the game. Um... So we'll kind of navigate around here while it's doing its thing. As you can see, we got some little, another little door over there that opened up. So we'll have to continue triggering different sequences to try to get to different areas. So you're going to do a lot of back and forth figuring out how one way works, how another way works. As you can see, now we have a different door that opens that we can go through. And you're going to do a lot of play on, you know, what does this thing do? What does that thing do? 
uh, while you try to figure it out. Um, different levers and switches are going to interact, and that's kind of the basic premise between this first puzzle and a lot of the puzzles throughout the whole game. It's just what mechanics and what functionalities do what in the game to allow me to progress to get further and further while I am playing. And that's kind of the main premise of Summertime Madness. It's a game that just does a beautiful art style and a beautiful, you know, set up to game with, you know, honestly a really nice soundtrack that really kind of just relaxes you and puts you in, like, that environmental mood of the game to just have a good time doing puzzle games. Now, if you are not a fan of puzzle adventure kind of s style games, you know, Summertime Madness is definitely not going to be the game for you. But if you do enjoy these type of games, Summertime Madness is definitely the game for you, as I think it's done very, very well, and frankly, it's extremely enjoyable. Um, I've had a lot of fun playing this game, and I don't think that there's really anything that, you know, I would knock off in a sense of, I haven't enjoyed it. You know, it's nice to be challenged by some puzzles, and, you know, even encounter some frustrating sequences while I am playing. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to just play games all the time that simply take me two seconds to fully complete, and I don't really have to feel challenged or engaged as a gamer. And, you know, Summertime Madness presents you with a game that gives you that challenging aesthetic and really lets you feel like you're working toward one goal or objective while you're playing. As you try to figure out what possible combinations it takes and what you need to do throughout the game. Now, on top of all the puzzles, the game does have some collectibles that you can find and hunt for. And for me, you know, that's definitely a big win as I enjoy hunting and searching for various collectibles and just things that I can do and unlock. And, you know, for me, when it comes to puzzle games, like failing and succeeding is definitely part of the games that I do enjoy because I love just trying to test my brain and seeing if I can figure out what gets me from point A to point B in a game while not just having everything handed to me all at once. You know, I know some people want to always have the easy way out and figure out how they can accomplish whatever goals they have right off the bat. For me, it's definitely an enjoyable challenge to not really know what's going on and really try to figure out what I need to do to complete a level and, you know, struggle. Because it's nice to, you know, have to use your brain and tinker a bit. And that's definitely something that Summertime Madness is going to do. I think for most gamers and even experienced puzzle players, Will enjoy this game for the most part um as you know it's it's nothing that's overly ambitious overly difficult it's something that's just nice relaxing and peaceful to enjoyable to play overall if i have to give any opinion about the game i definitely think it's worth picking up um especially at the price point it comes in at you know it's nothing that's overbearing too difficult by any sense of the mean and you know i just you know i think it's a great game and you know the fact that i can play the game twice through a stack is, you know, even better and adds even more enjoyment to my playtime. Overall, though, if you have any questions about the game, want to know more in the comments or anything like that, please let me know. I'd love to answer any questions you got, share my opinion further, or anything like that. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time. Uh, enjoy.